That was University of Wisconsin professor Kevin Barrett, who has recently drawn criticism for plans to teach an Islamic studies course next fall that will incorporate conspiracy theories that the U.S. government was involved in the events of September 11th. Professor Barrett joins us now. Professor, can you give us the context within which you teach this? Okay. What you've just seen here is he used a nonverbal gesture with his hands and an outward motion to kind of scatter his thinking and then swayed both of his hands over to his left shoulder which would give the subconscious impression of being far to the left and also kind of uh, distracts his thinking a little bit so that's what he's doing that's why his hands are all over the place and then they swing over to his left shoulder to send the subconscious message that he is an extremist uh, a left winger okay can you give us the context within which you teach this well, yeah, sure. I'm teaching an introductory course on Islam. And I think it's really important uh, to cover these contemporary political issues. And one of them is, of course, the so-called war on terror. Now, the fact is that the great majority of the world's Muslims believe that 9-11 was an inside job. Oh, but and that's your uh, opinion, right? You're Again, manipulation is all about timing and redirecting and trying to take control of somebody when they're speaking. Here, you see a great example of that by saying that's your opinion even though he just stated there's a vast number of people that are waking up even though he specifies the muslim community that's not true it's all over the world so the journalist's responsibility to misdirect his thinking and to to mislead you is to follow up and say but that's your opinion even though he stated that it wasn't just his opinion but it doesn't matter because people believe what they hear from newscasters they take in the barrage of words and the newscaster here understands that so if he says that he plants that seed now the fact is that the great majority of the world's muslims believe that 9-11 was an inside job oh, but and that's it, your uh, opinion right you're well no you that's, that's your opinion look. that there was an inside job uh, well, after studying the evidence pretty intensively for uh, two and a half years, I am convinced that 9-11 was, in fact, an inside And are students was... required to regurgitate that in, a, in some of way in order to do well in your That's class? Right. Again, more manipulation. I'm sure you caught that. Even though this very system of the world creates people to regurgitate, they will often accuse people of doing the things that they do. It's just part of it, okay? So by saying our students required to regurgitate that gives the subconscious impression that he is controlling their minds and not teaching them to think when in actuality to be able to see through the media, to be able to see what is going on is not regurgitation. Any person that does regurgitate and only memorize and not think would not be able to see through it anyway. It doesn't matter. This is reverse psychology. This is just not even that. It's just manipulation. It's just name calling. It's I'm rubber, you're a glue. Again, this is a way that he disrupts the guy's thinking with petty comments like that. He knows that this type of person would never want anybody to regurgitate anything because that doesn't allow them to learn to think. Doesn't matter. If there's an audience to this, he plants that seed again. Uh, well, after studying the evidence pretty intensively for uh, two and a half years, I am convinced that 9-11 was, in fact, an inside job. And are job students to... required to regurgitate that in, a, in some of way in order to do well in your That's class? That's ridiculous. No, I, I don't, I'm not interested in making students regurgitate anything. All right, Mr. Barrett, Sean Hannity here. Do you really believe that 9-11 uh, was an inside job? Okay, Sean Hannity. I never watched Fox News before. But uh, within seconds of seeing this guy, you can just see that he is a snake. At least he is currently conducting himself as such. Now, this is pretty basic what he's doing. He's not giving eye contact. He's pretending to be bored with the guy's very presence. And this is a way to discredit him that way, as if he's just a, some sort of gnat and uh, not even worth considering. And that's why he's purposely looking down and, and acting bored when he talks to him. Secondly, he uses the word believe. Do you really believe? To believe is not to know. And that's why he's stressing that. And again, you're going to start to see extreme manipulation from this Mr. Hannity. All right, Mr. Barrett, Sean Hannity here. Do you really believe that 9-11 uh, was an inside job, not just 9-11, but Madrid and Bali and the Zakawi well, operation? Well, you know, actually, uh, you, I'm at, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, believe... okay. All right, so what he does is he tries to take control 
of this conversation right away. He insinuates something, and the professor was smart enough to catch what he was saying, and then when he tried to respond to that, he interrupts him to take control. Now, notice, and I'll point this out in a little bit, when he puts his hand up in the OK sign, you're about to learn what that really means and what they use it for. Uh, but for now, just understand that that's how they'll do it. They'll insult you while they speak and try to continue speaking before you can actually reply to it. And therefore, it makes the professor look nuts. You know what I mean? Because if people don't catch this neuro-linguistic programming, if they don't catch the manipulation, you know, which is that comprises the majority of the audience anyway, nevertheless, if they don't catch it, then he can do that. He can take those cheap shots, and when the professor tries to correct those, then he interrupts him, says, hey, hold on, you know, and then tries to make him look rude for interrupting and take control over him and disrupt his thinking at the same time. Well, you know, actually, uh, I'm at, hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, Do you okay, believe okay, personally that these are inside jobs, yes or no? Uh, it's not quite that simple. Okay, believe personally, that's another way to plant that into your psyche, that it is just he that believes this. And then he uses the yes or no trap. Because that is, again, misleading if you can't see that. The way he twisted around that question would not allow the professor to be able to give a yes or no answer because he injected manipulation into the question itself. So when the professor tries to say that, of course, then it puts them under pressure. The professor is smart enough to catch that, and it isn't that simple, and he understands the professor knew, of course, what I'm telling you right now. However, time is ticking. He only has so much time on the air, and their job is to disrupt his thinking as much as possible and make as many hidden accusations as they can and as many subconscious embeds into how to perceive the professors they can in the short amount of time that he's on the air and that's their only job is to discredit and disrupt okay but he did catch it now he has to respond to that rather than being able to say anything that matters and that's what they do another good person at this is Stephen Colbert if you watch Stephen Colbert with any of his interviews his whole job is to discredit and disrupt that's what he does and you keep it moving it's very very petty but these are the people that you allow to run you okay so know that and that's what's going on right here yes or no uh, it's not quite that simple. I'm, I do know, I don't believe, I know that 9-11 was an inside job. Professor Stephen Jones okay. has found residue of thermate on the steel samples from what the World Trade Center. We now know that it was taken down in a controlled demolition. All right, so you believe that the buildings came down in a controlled demolition? Okay, so the professor did a really good job of identifying his manipulation by saying, I don't believe, I know. And because he was starting to get through that, Hannity interrupts him and says, I don't have a lot of time. Well, wait a minute. You just asked him a question, and now he's able to break through your manipulation, and suddenly you don't have a lot of time for the very answer to the question that you just asked. The next thing you see, he asks him, what evidence does he have? And he interrupted him, giving the evidence to ask him what evidence he has. Why? Of course, he's not interested in hearing the evidence or anybody else hearing it. He's interested in interrupting him and planting another embed into the psyche that what he happens to be saying right now is somehow not evidence. It's all misdirection of focus, redirection of focus, disrupting, interrupting, gaining control, and, you know, it's this very petty, they, they rely on these petty techniques. Now, at the end of this, he does something that a lot of you probably aren't aware of. He does a hand gesture. He takes both of his hands and he puts them up in front of his head and then pulls them down. And he pretends he's talking about the buildings falling down. What that is, is I, I don't know what they would term it. I'm just intuitive. I'm perceptive. I can see what they're doing. That's sorcery. Sorcery is just anything that is used to circumvent the conscious mind, to control the mind. That gesture is designed to take away his zest, his focus, his power. By bringing his hands down like that, he's trying to subconsciously take away the focus of the professor, take away his power. And that's exactly what he's doing, and that's what you're seeing. And I'll play that again for you. Inside job. Professor Stephen Jones okay. has found residue of thermate on the steel samples from what the World Trade Center. We now know that it was taken down in a controlled demolition. 